The next question is a picture multi-select question. Here you ask your students a question and students have to answer by selecting images you give them. This is my question. So what animals belong to the big five? I'm going to add my images here. You're adding your images one by one. In this case, I'm looking my images online. This is connected to the Pixabay image library. Just type in your word and it will pop up. Then you have to indicate the answer. So I have to indicate the images with the big five. So that will be the first one, the lion here, the second one, the third one, the fifth one, and the seventh one. Make sure to indicate there's a space right here. And these are the right answers students will have to indicate. Of course, you can add a rationale or an explanation, a hint, audio, image. And you can take a look at the scoring options because there are multiple possibilities here. Students can score points when all answers are correct. Students can score points for each correct answer. Or you can add points for each correct answer and deduct points for each wrong answer. We're just going to use score points for each correct answer right here and just one is fine by me. And take a look at the preview to see how this looks like for your students. I am able to see the answers immediately. Of course, you can ask your students to submit the work first, then show them the correction or just send back the correction later on. Uh, in book widgets, you have to know that if these, uh, if these images are a little bit too small, students can just click on it long for three seconds or just a short click, and then they can start zooming in on the images and zooming out. So they have to indicate big five. So let's do this. Let's make a mistake right here and click on show answers. And you can see they ha have a six out of eight. So why is this on eight points and not on five points? Well, book which is also grades correct or wrong images that are, um, are not indicated. That is a true answer because this is as something they didn't have to click and that's something they didn't do. So this is actually correct. So make sure that your students know how this correction works.